everything to do with your child dying is, is hard. A year ago, Beth Jones got a call that no parent wants to receive. And it gets a little bit easier, but it's, it's never gonna be the same again. Her son, Anthony Lafrenier, had been involved in an accident. He was riding in the back seat of a fellow Davidson High School student's car to get a soda while on a break from school. The car crashed with a wave bus. Anthony suffered a traumatic brain injury, shattered his pelvis, broke his back, and lacerated his kidney, but was on the road to recovery when he unexpectedly passed in December, seven months after the crash. It's been hard, it's felt a little incomplete, like we don't have any closure. His family is getting through the tragedy together. One day at a time, <laughs> try not to think too much about it. Anthony was an active member of Navy JROTC at Davidson and had plans to go into the Navy. His family got him special permission to be buried at Arlington National Cemetery in his father's plot, a major honor for his family. We're glad it worked out this way, that we'll be there, that it'll be Memorial Day. And I think Anthony would be really proud of that. Whoa, look at that zucchini. Oh. Huh? That's a big In the heart of downtown Mobile, <laughs> students at most pure heart of Mary School are tending their garden. Okay, squeeze it. This was once an overgrown lot. It takes a lot of work and you need sunlight, waters. It was about a month or two, and they grew really fast. For the past year, Robin Luce with Jubilee Scape helped the students learn how to garden. What is that? A ladybug. All right. Most of them have never seen a seed sprout. They don't know. They don't know what a blueberry plant looks like. They'll eat a blueberry, but they don't know what a plant looks like, uh, or a fig tree, or and uh, or satsuma. The students are proud of what they've grown. Where tomatoes grew, squash grew, all kinds of stuff grew. School administrators say the students have been diligent about watering and weeding the garden, and they've learned so much from their outdoor classroom. This is sort of a, a, an answer to prayer. Uh, we wanted to do something special uh, that the children could be involved in and that could learn from the experience. All of the fruits and vegetables will be donated to the homeless community. Some people don't have food, so we're going to try to get as many people as we can to give them some food. The garden has become a lesson in gardening and generosity. For What's Working, I'm Devin Walsh, WKRG News 5. The Art for Heart Gala benefiting the American Heart Association mark it down as a huge success this year. Last year we had it in Orange Beach. This year it's in Fairhope. We are at the old barn at Chapel Farm and it's the home of Gina and Rodney Pilot. And they said when they were asked to host this event, it was easy for them to say yes. Our family certainly has had that uh, disease a you know, part of our family and we're happy to know that this cause deals in all proceeds stay in the local market. The group of volunteers that come together, this, they're like a well-oiled machine. This, this event is beautiful. They've created quite a reputation with it, and we're just happy to have them a little further north in Bowen County, so good for them. Tonight's event has live entertainment, a wonderful dinner, live auction and silent auction, all to raise money for the American Heart Association. WKRG News 5 is proud to be the media sponsor of this event, and I am honored to serve as co mc and auctioneer along with Kevin Corcoran. A wonderful sold out event. We hope you'll join us next year. Reporting from Fairhope, Roseanne Haven, WKRG News 5. Y'all is necessary, unnecessary, I need to get out of my face. Handcuffed and charged with a half dozen crimes, Carlisha Petway yelled at police and news crews. I'm innocent. I'm innocent, y'all. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. I'm always innocent. Who had a gun? I ain't had no Why they take a gun out of the car? I don't know where that gun come from. Police say Petway and Miracle Spelton went on a crime spree Wednesday. They say Petway assaulted a victim police aren't identified. Then Petway and Spelton went to the victim's house and shot at her car. 
But it's not just the victim's account they have as evidence. But Petway shared her exploits on Facebook. Why she had committed her first offense and then she went off and started doing her Facebook thing. And Who was on Facebook during all this? I don't know. Stop asking me that. Their Facebook post that helped police find Petway and Spelton. They located the duo at a gas station and tried to arrest them, but they weren't ready to go to jail. Police say a 100 mile an hour chase ensued. It ended on I-10 East near Virginia Street. The victim suffered minor injuries, but Petway had no sympathy. You know you lying, that's why I'm saying. You know you, you know you lied on me, ho. Residents of this country road in Robertsdale say it was anything but quiet this morning. Her texted me and uh, told me that there was a shooting up the road. That shooting happened around 6 a.m. at a home on Newport Road. Deputies say 18 year old Preston Northen admitted to shooting and robbing his aunt. She was shot several times in her leg and hip. It happened while she was in bed with a child next to her. But yeah, it's scary knowing that it's just right there, you know. A neighbor who didn't want to go on camera says she learned about what happened from another neighbor. It's scary because, I mean, about the time that she texted me, I had been outside about an hour before with my dogs, letting them go, and uh, I just felt an uneasiness. Northen remains behind bars tonight, charged with assault, robbery, and reckless endangerment. His aunt remains in the hospital in Pensacola.